And what's good YouTube, it's Supreme J here. Now today, we're gonna be going over my 500 wheel horsepower C7 Stingray, the build list, everything that's on the car to get to that power. Now do forgive me as it is a little bit windy, but it's been windy like every single day here in California. Um, so I'm gonna do my best. Hopefully the wind isn't too bothering. But yeah, so go. let's go ahead and take a look at the engine bay. So on this side, you can see to start things off, we have the DSX flex fuel kit right there, and that is so I can run E85. I can run 91 with a little bit of 85, a lot of 85, all 85. I can basically do whatever I want with this, which is really, really clutch, and something really, really big that you need to achieve the higher horsepower figure. Now, we're gonna go over here to the other side. Starting off with the basic, you need a quarter intake. So I got this green, I think it's like a green air quarter intake gets the job done right there leading into that we have a solar throttle body so this is standard OEM size from solar but it is ported uh, so that gives you more airflow and then underneath the engine cover here we have for the intake manifold a edgy vet ported intake manifold now if we go over the prices for these things that was three and that's three hundred dollars new that's like three hundred twenty five dollars new that's another $200 new. That was about $300 new. But I did get that used. Um, and I got the Flex Fuel Kit new, but a uh, Facebook Marketplace for only $200. So we saved some money there. You can do the core exchange with solar to save some money there. So yeah, so all this together is already a pretty good amount. But then if you look down there in the little you know crevices, you can see we got some long tube headers on there. That's gonna be one of the biggest things for power as well that you need. And those are by Speed Engineering. Um, they are the cheapest headers that you can get, but they are good quality. I haven't had any issues with them. I did a lot of research asking people that had Speed Engineering products if they had any issues and everything checked out. So I felt comfortable buying those instead of spending a lot more money trying to get some you know, American Racing or Cooks headers. And then, if we come down underneath the car, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see, but somewhere under there, we have a Extreme Online Store Catless X pipe. So we have the whole, the whole ten yards as far as the bolt-ons go. Like the only thing I'm missing, NA honestly, is really like a cam. Um, so yeah, so the car is full bolt-on, and these are the brands that I went with. That that uh, X pipe is only like three hundred and sixty dollars. So as you guys can kind of tell, I low-key have kind of like a budget full bolt-on setup, but it is extremely, extremely quick. And like I said, I haven't had no issues with any of the parts. Obviously, there's more expensive parts that you can go with. For example, the intake manifold. You can go with the MSD intake manifold, and you can definitely squeeze out some more power. But I just don't have the need to do that. I'm very happy with the number that it's at currently. And if I were to switch things up, it would be to do some boost or a cam. Now let's get out, let's get into something else that also kind of helps save or helps make you a little bit faster. Let's talk about these wheels right here. These are some rotary forged Cray Corvette wheels, and these are on some Continental Extreme Contact Sports. So uh, these are non-run flats versus having the run flats on my car. So that means that these are lighter. The wheels are also lighter. So you're saving some weight right there, which is uh, kind of a good amount. And then the same thing applies to the rear as well. We have uh, some Pirellis on there and they are not run flats. So I'm saving some weight there as well. Now that you guys have seen the power though, if you guys want to stick around, let's go ahead and talk about all the cosmetics that I have on the car because there's a lot. So starting things off, we have the Extreme Online Store Z06 style grill fits perfect looks great in carbon flash then we have the extreme online store uh, stage 2 carbon fiber splitter looks great absolutely love it going around to the side right here we have the extreme online store stingray uh, carbon fiber side skirts which I think that these are like the best looking side skirts they just go perfectly along the body nothing too crazy they don't have like that weird indent like the Z06 style ones do so I love that. Coming up here to the top, 
We have the Extreme Online Store uh, Z06 style quarter panel vents. These look so much better than the Stingray ones. You see they have that oomph to the side, make it look more aerodynamic, looks really badass. Now coming up here to the rear, this was the first cosmetic piece that I put on the car, so it was used. It is a stage two wicker bill. You can see the clear coat is kind of done for and stuff. We're gonna be changing up the spoiler soon, but we're gonna be doing a lot soon. So I kind of wanted to make this video before we did all of that. Now coming back to the rear, we have some Z06 uh, clears. I got these for a great deal. And then finishing things off, cosmetically we have the extreme online store rear diffuser fins these are absolute must-have if, even if you don't want to go more aggressive if you just look at how good it looks from the rear with those little fins it doesn't look as plain anymore but yeah and then obviously you guys are wondering whoa this isn't an oem color this looks like rapid blue but that's only on the c8s so yes so the car is wrapped it is wrapped in a tech wrap uh electric blue which yes, does look kind of like rapid blue, but I just absolutely love this color. And it has a metallic flake to it, which is something that rapid blue does not have. And you can see it right there. And then I also have some, you know, some black accents. So we have 3M Galaxy Black, looks absolutely crazy. I mean, the car's already dusty, unfortunately, um, but there's nothing you can do about that. And you can see the how it look kind of looks in the sun hitting it. It looks great so yeah that is the whole build for right now but as i said though we are going to be making a lot a lot of changes pretty soon so i kind of wanted to give you guys this video to go over the whole build before things switch up you know a lot and i really really want to get this car to the track soon and just freaking enjoy it take corners and stuff all in all i mean i probably put in you know five five to ten thousand dollars in this car somewhere along those lines but it's a hundred percent worth it oh yeah and that's one more thing i have the bolts lowered the full inch but i do want to lower them even more but yeah like i said though lots to change we're going to switch things up and it's going to be absolutely awesome i can't wait to show you guys all that so stay tuned for some more car content and with that being said make sure you guys leave a like comment down below what is your favorite part about the car? And with that being said, peace.